<laughs> I just really don't want to do this anymore. <coughs> Trash. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another instant ramen video. Yeah, yeah. I actually filmed a couple of instant ramen videos on my channel. If you're new, here's my confession. You get me. But this instant ramen video is not like the others. One of these videos is not like the others. Is that Taylor Swift? This is a more intense one. Eating instant ramen for seven days, which is also a week. This video is heavenly inspired by Telehu Food. Nine months ago, she made a video, I ate instant ramen noodles for 30 days straight. We're not here to do 30 days. I just gotta tell you, okay? But I'm gonna do it a little different than she did. She did 30 days, but she also just did one instant ramen a day. At least she only filmed that one instant ramen dish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat instant ramen like for basically everything not for breakfast though because i usually don't eat breakfast i eat breakfast for lunch sometimes i don't even eat lunch sometimes i just eat dinner it's just i know it's not not good i know but sometimes i'm just not hungry and sometimes i'm just busy don't do that <laughs> don't do that i will basically eat instant ramen every time i eat a dish if i only eat dinner that day it's gonna be instant ramen and if i eat dinner and lunch then it's gonna be instant ramen you get it so i will link her video in the description make sure to also watch hers let's start this naruto diet <laughs> diet <laughs> So for my first day, I actually skipped lunch. I only had dinner. So I had the Samyang Burdak cheese hot chicken flavor ramyun. And I got creative, guys. So I actually kind of wanted to make something like a Korean barbecue, but obviously with instant ramyun. As you can see, here is a Japanese eggplant. I have actually never seen a Japanese eggplant before, but I saw it at my local supermarket, so I had to get it. Also got some broccoli, very important ingredient. Some cabbage. And here is my secret ingredient and this is actually king oyster mushroom which i marinated in soy sauce mirin sake and sesame oil for about 20 minutes and i want to make chicken karage out of it i saw this on tiktok and supposedly this makes great vegan chicken karage i basically just put it in flour and cornstarch and rolled it around just so i can fry it and i gotta say it actually worked pretty well i pan fried the vegetables along with some spring onion obviously cooked the noodles and here we go. This is the vegan chicken karake. It looks so good. This is all of the Korean barbecue. I also had Oscar over and we ate this Korean barbecue together. And let me tell you, it was delicious. The vegan chicken karage was bomb.com. And yeah, we just had this little Korean barbecue at home without a barbecue. It was a great start and Oscar also really enjoyed it. He fucking that shit up. <laughs> On the second day, I actually wanted to be a little bit experimental and try something I've never tried before which is this instant hot pot it's a self-heating hot pot so you basically just have to add water it cooks itself it also didn't have normal instant noodles it had vermicelli and I basically just got all of the ingredients out they look very interesting like this this especially looks a little bit like poo poo but I think it was like a mushroom paste I put hot water in stirred it around a little bit put the hot chili flakes in there and then I got the self-heating pad out and I thought it was supposed to fold it or like bend it so it starts heating. Turns out you were just supposed to open the packaging and take it out and add some water and that's actually already enough to activate it. Then I just put my food into the hot boiling water and I was supposed to wait eight minutes. Well, I added a bit more water. I thought I didn't add enough and I'm <laughs> just we're leaking a little bit. <laughs> this is such a mess. I feel like this is not cooked yet, to be honest. The vermicelli are funny. They're so slimy. <laughs> this is not cooked. I don't think the taste is too bad. Let's try it. Why is it so slimy too? Mmm, crunchy potato. Maybe a mushroom. The broth is actually kind of good. I like the broth. Nothing is really like cooked. <laughs> <laughs> How is it heating? I have no idea. 
I think I'm just gonna go ahead and like cook all of it like manually. I just went ahead and actually like boiled all of this, which made it edible. Like I could actually eat it because I cooked all of the vegetables and the potatoes. I still wouldn't buy it again, especially because the whole self-heating thing doesn't even work properly. So I could basically just cook my own hot pot myself. For dinner, I decided to have this raboki stir-fried noodle with Korean-style teriyaki sauce. So raboki actually is like little rice cakes with noodles. Sadly, there weren't any rice cakes in there. They fooled me very much. And I also added some spring onion. And my side dish was this kimchi radish, which I honestly love to death. I think I love it even more than normal kimchi. I mean, I also love normal kimchi, but this is even better. I drained the hot water, added the sauce. Oh, and I also added a little bit of mozzarella just for some uh, spice, just to get another unhealthy aspect in there, you know. And here's my little raboki cup without the rice cakes. I have been fooled, a foolish. But honestly, it was still really, really good. I really liked the sauce. It was kind of sweet, which actually contrasted really well with the spicy kimchi radish. Like both of these things together just made my mouth really happy. Day number three, and it's time for Shin Ramyeon. I actually just wanted to eat it like the old fashioned way now, just cook it normally. I also always add the seasoning package at the end. I also added some enoki mushrooms because I I love enoki mushrooms mostly because of their texture and I'm just gonna eat it the old-fashioned way with some eggs on top I also felt very eggy that day I added two eggs some spring onion of course I think I probably add spring onion to every dish and there it is the final product and this was delightful it's so hot and spicy but it's so good the spiciness of the shin ramen still like gets me sometimes I'm still not like really good at eating spicy food but I'm training myself I'm practicing i'm trying to be the best me spicy me spice me <laughs> my good old friend iron i loved it it was great the enoki mushrooms were amazing in there the eggs were amazing in there it just really satisfied me that day and now it is dinner time i'm going with the samyang cheese ramyun again but this time i'm gonna make something different i want to make ramyun pizza this is also a dish Lisa did in her 30 days ramen video. And when I saw her doing that, I was like, I'm gonna do this. I, no, I'm gonna do this. I am going to do this. So I cooked the noodles, drained the water, and then I added an egg. And then I struggle really hard opening the Parmesan, like really, really hard. You can see even Sailor Mars is laughing at me for this. <laughs> Stupid bitch. But eventually I opened it. Okay, pause. <clears throat> so I think this Parmesan was um, a bit old <laughs> and it was already molding, but I didn't notice. But two weeks later, I'm still fine. And I also apparently didn't taste it. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> then it was time to fry this. I used some coconut oil just to feel a little more healthy. Then I checked if the oil was already hot enough by just dipping a noodle in there. It wasn't. I tried it again. Still wasn't hot enough. I tried again. And now it's sizzling. <laughs> So I added my egg noodle parmesan mixture and started frying the speech. <laughs> okay, get it, I guess. Yes, pizza come through. Italian cuisine right here. Ach du mein Scheiße, das kann noch nichts werden. How does one even flip this? Oh, Scheiße. Ah. <laughs> but I'm also kind of getting sick just looking at this. <laughs> ah, just push it. Okay, I think we're good. Let's just put it here. Pizza time! <laughs> Gonna add some mozzarella cheese. Now some salami. Now I'm just gonna take the hot sauce from the ramen. Okay, this is gonna go into the oven now. Uh, yay! 
I'ma just leave it in there for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes later. And here she is. <laughs> the ramen pizza. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, this actually looked really good. I treated it just like a normal pizza. I just, I didn't want it to feel different than other pizzas. Let's show it to an Italian. Uh... What? Doesn't it just not look like pizza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely should have added some seasoning to the noodles because it was very, very tasteless. And I didn't really like the inner part of the pizza because it was also a very weird texture. But like the crunchy outer bits. After this dish, I felt kind of bad, but I used coconut oil for frying, so we're all good. <laughs> Day number four, lunchtime. I actually wasn't that hungry, so I just decided to go for a snack. So I decided to eat some yum yum today. I wanted to have it the old fashioned way. Well, <laughs> it's not really old fashioned way. <laughs> well, it's my old fashioned way. Because as a kid, I used to buy this and not cook it. Just like crumble it, add the seasonings, and then eat it as chips. It's not that bad. It's actually really good. Try it. Chili also really loved it. I mean, he didn't eat it, but... He just loved to spend time with me while I was eating these. <laughs> I actually think yum yum is better like this. No tea, no shade. <laughs> Chili. <laughs> it was a little light afternoon snack on a Friday night. Day four, dinner time. It's time for in the meat, my babies. I normally don't eat a lot of meat, but that day I was really craving spam. I know, I feel guilty. I really don't eat this a lot. I also cut some cucumber, I also cut some tomatoes, and I made a fried egg. I just wanted to have some side dish options, you know? I wanted to make it a little more exciting for myself. And then I just cooked the in the meat like a normal. I just added everything, blah, blah, blah. And here is my finished dish. I also added some kimchi. I'm a side dish queen. I love my side dishes. <laughs> and here is the finished instant ramen dish for tonight, for day number four. And I'm not gonna lie, this was so good. It was divine. It was everything I wanted that day. The noodles were rich. The spam was salty. The vegetables were refreshing. The egg was uh, eggy. Yes, this was great. Would recommend, would eat again. I was happy that night. For day number five, it was editing day, which means I usually skip lunch, but also had something very intense for dinner, so maybe maybe it was actually good I skipped lunch. <laughs> I took out my gin ramyun and I wanted to make some elote ramyun. If you don't know what elote ramyun is, it's basically a Mexican version of instant ramen. So I just butter my pan and I add a lot of cheese, like a lot. <laughs> I'll also add some milk to make it more creamy. Now, when that one is diarrhea, I get on the other one. This is also no case. Oh, wait, that's the same kid. That's what I said. And I also added some corn because corn is very good for <laughs> diarrhea. You don't digest corn. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you poop, you will see all the corn you ate that week. Keine Sorge, ich habe noch Mais reingemacht, damit es ein bisschen gesünder ist. So we prepared our cheese. Let's get back to the noodles. I'm gonna add some mayonnaise and usually you're supposed to just add some hot sauce. I don't have hot sauce. I only have the sriracha mayo. Sriracha? What did I say it like that? So I added both of that and just mixed it. I also added some lime and I forgot I had a paper cut on my finger which made this very painful for me. Wow, lime in my wunde. Then I also added the seasonings to the mayo ramen just for some flavor because I don't think this has a lot of flavor just like that, you know? <laughs> Ach du meine Scheiße. And in Germany, we don't say, this Parmesan is so chunky. We say, What is denn hier mein Parmesan so bröggelig? And I think that's beautiful. For the finishing touch of the Elote Ramion, I also added some tahine. And I didn't just add it to the Ramion, I also added it everywhere else. <laughs> And here is the finished elote ramyun. It looks poisonous, but also kind of good. Like, I, I don't want to drag it too much because honestly, if I wouldn't know that this would be bad for my bowel, then I would slurp that shit up. Guten Hunger, eh? Oh, sorry. Cheers. I mean, it's good. <laughs> Very limey. I wonder why me. Gene Bruda. Just a small little bit. It's not that bad. It's not that cheesy, actually. It's really fresh because I put a lot of lime in. You always serve me something like this, and then I'm always the picky. I have never served you something <laughs> like this. 
Mm. I don't like the texture. Is there even texture? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for your feedback. So in conclusion, this elote ramen was actually good but we all know it's illegal it should be illegal i also couldn't finish all of it i think i actually ate like three quarters of it which was already a lot i felt kind of sick afterwards but as a little treat as a little diarrhea treat this is great day number six and i was actually a little hungover that day even though i didn't even drink anything the day before that <laughs> i just felt hungover you know so i wanted to have a breakfast for lunch a grilled cheese noodle sandwich also inspired by lisa i'm using my beloved indomie noodles for this again i prepared them like normal i also fried an egg i flipped the egg which I normally don't do. I'm putting my toast into the pan. I actually never made a grilled cheese sandwich before. Isn't that crazy? I'm also preparing some of this meat sausage, but it's a vegetarian version. Then I'm obviously adding some grilled cheese to my sandwich, the fried egg on top, and of course the indomie noodles. This also kind of felt illegal, but I was really craving this for some reason. I also made a second grilled cheese noodle sandwich with the fake meat and noodles, obviously. And then my camera fell. That was very scary. I also got myself some truffle mayo. I'm kind of obsessed with truffle mayo at the moment. And let me say, I think this was the best dish out of all of the dishes I made in that week. It was just such a good mix and with the truffle mayo, I was just so happy. I even made a little sexy dance for this sandwich. <laughs> I devoured both of them in like no time. And I also let Taco smell my noodle sandwich fingers. He loved it. So we're still on day six. I put on some makeup and I gotta admit to you, I really didn't want to eat instant ramen that night. I need some dramatic music, but I had to keep going. I didn't want to give up. So day six dinner time was mama time. And I also wanted to experiment a little bit. I mean, I knew in my mind and in my body I couldn't just eat normal instant ramen anymore at this point. I had to make like a completely new dish, throw some completely new ingredients in there so my body can still eat it without being like sick of it. So I bought this vegan minced meat. I don't know, I thought it could be a good idea to add this to my instant ramen dish. I pan fried it and also added some paprika powder. I also also cut some onion and added some onion <laughs> and I had to add my minced garlic. I love my minced garlic. Then I added some milk because I still had some left from my elote ramen. And I actually heard this before that you can add milk instead of water to your ramen and it will actually taste very good and like very rich. I straight up just put the noodles in there and let it boil in the milk. Of course I also added some enoki mushrooms. My creative mind also decided to add some corn and here is the finished product <laughs> it doesn't look very appealing to one's eye um but uh, yeah it also really wasn't that good <laughs> Like, it was really not what I needed in that moment. It was actually that bad. I tried to save it with kimchi. <laughs> when I ate it together with kimchi, it was edible. Like, I could bear to eat it. But it was still not good. I think the problem was actually the vegan minced meat in there. And also the milk was not not good in this combo I don't, I don't know and the last day ding 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 it's soba noodle time yes i definitely wanted something very very different than all of the noodles i ate before i wanted to make some summer rolls i have actually never made summer rolls before i cut myself some cucumber some carrot some salad and spring onion i cooked the soba noodles in a pan and also vincent did his little dancey dance in the background for us Yeah, just adding the sauce now and just stirring it and waiting for all the water to be gone. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make the dipping sauce for the summer rolls. I added two tablespoons of peanut butter and then I added some hoisin sauce. One tablespoon, actually two tablespoons? 
actually three tablespoons <laughs> i was crazy at that point i don't know who that person is anymore then i added some soy sauce also just a couple of a little bit <laughs> and a little bit of lime and water and it was honestly so good like i was impressed with my sauce skills at that moment and now let's roll our summer rolls i actually forgot to film the first uh, rice paper dipping part you're supposed to take your rice paper dip it into water and then it's it's getting like really sticky and soft I'm just adding some noodles and some of the ingredients I prepared for this. I probably did a lot of things wrong, but like I thought it was pretty. Don't summer roll shame me, please. And then I just went on. I also cut myself some tomatoes because I wanted something different in there. You know, some, some vegetable diversity. And I also managed to put all of the noodles in there. So here's all of the footage of me rolling summer rolls. I think they look great. I think they look delicious. Let's do the taste test. Yum, yum, yum. Dip it in and hum, hum. Mm. I was so happy with this dish. It was something different. It was refreshing. I was satisfied. Day seven, dinner time. This is my last instant ramen dish for this week. I maybe cheated a little bit, like only a little bit with this. But you gotta understand, I was like done with instant ramen. I still don't know how Lisa did this for 30 days. I was like, Ugh! when I thought of instant ramen, you know? So that's why I wanted to make my own instant ramen version of kimchi fried rice. So it's like kimchi fried instant ramen. I used chapaghetti for this and I think this is the part where I just cheated a little bit because I didn't actually make the sauce with the chapaghetti. I just used the noodles. So I just cut my onions like usual. I cried like usual. And I also added some of the leftover spam I had. And then for some reason I started having like the worst hiccups ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just really don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below ways to get rid of hiccups, ways that work, please. Because I added a huge chunk of butter to my spam and my onions. And there we have the vegan kimchi again. She's been my very loyal partner in this video. I could not do this without her. <laughs> my main bitch. And then I also thought, why not add some tofu? And then I realized it was silken tofu, like really soft tofu, which is actually just suitable for like soups. So it basically just, you know, crumbled apart. And then I added my noodles and a teeny tiny little bit of this rice. This was actually rice leftovers from Vincent. Then adding a little bit of soy sauce to your liking. Depends on how salty you like this dish. Adding some pepper, you know, was good. We like our kimchi fried noodles peppery. If you ever have kimchi fried rice, the fried egg will be the cherry on top, I promise you. This is my kimchi fried noodles, rice noodles, and it was delightful. It was a perfect ending of this week. And I also think the noodles were actually a great addition to this. I'm definitely gonna make this dish again. I don't think you even need rice for this. I think kimchi fried noodles are just as good. And just in celebration of my finished seven days of ramen chow, I had this beautiful mango milk with a lot of sugar in it. I needed that. And that my broccoli includes my seven days ramen challenge. Towards the end, I could actually feel my appetite kind of like going down. Or was it my hunger? I don't know. One of these two things was not like it's been before. But it was still a great challenge because I basically had to cook something every day or even twice the day, which was kind of cool because I actually don't cook a lot. And when I cook, I just cook the same things all over, you know? Again, thank you so much, Lisa, for inspiring me. But I also have to say, if you guys eat instant ramen, don't eat it too much. It's not good for you. Even if you add enoki mushrooms and cucumber, it's still not healthy. Try to be healthier than I am and don't skip meals, period. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna make myself some ramen pizza now. I won't. I'm gonna eat spaghetti.